just blabber. Like, you're saying whatever. You're like, you go between DBZ, you complain about anime stuff. You're like, oh, of course he has amnesia. Of course he has amnesia. It's ridiculous. Like, we're talking over their dialogue. <laughs> Carve a fortress. The priest. It's, it's not even that. It's not even just like the small part of the story. Like it's a like every main character in the in anime series has amnesia. Do you realize that? <laughs> not every main. Everybody. Name a series that doesn't have somebody with amnesia. Okay, so Yasha's feeling butt hurt. The Karma Fortress. I feel like Asha is gonna have to fight that Karma Fortress. The only way. We need your power. The world needs it. Litra is constantly unleashing Goma upon the world. If we do not have Mantra to fight against them, there is no hope for civilization. Your power to amplify Mantra is our sword and shield. We cannot bring salvation to Gaia without you. Asra, why do you choose not to listen to reason? Mithra's power is essential to the cause. Once we defeat Vitra, Mithra and the world will be saved. Stubborn fool. Yeah. Obviously, Asher's the bad guy. 500 years later. Yes, they keep on knocking Asher out of the city. Yasha mercilessly splits Asura in two. Asura finds himself back in Naraka. Burned by Mithra's fire. How many times are they going to kill Ostra before this is over? Because uh, apparently, they're, apparently their version of hell is just like, oh, so you got killed. Yeah. You can climb your way up, but it's a mile up. So if you got the stones to climb yourself, which means you'll probably get that golden spider. <laughs> yep. Back where he started. His arms are back. Yeah, how did he hang there? We need to get him! So, what now? You are a demigod just as they are, you know. Hmm. If you can accept their actions, perhaps you should let go and allow your soul to become one with Gaia. This is exactly why your soul will never belong to the Goma, nor the Seven Dead. 